and discreet, too. Such a gentleman. Oh, oh Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. Oh, there you are. Did you get it? Did you like the part about you being like a Roman emperor? That's okay, Jimmy. You're my hero. Here, I brought you a drink. There's a boy in the dorm! Oh, it's you. Nice horns. There's some perfume hidden in the girls' locker room. Get it and spray it on the football team's lockers. A confident man is secure in his identity and doesn't feel threatened by a little perfume. Be careful out there, my brave bull. I'm never going to forgive you. I hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you! I have time before I have to study, so maybe we can hang out. I'll spend some time with you. If you don't make me do your homework. I'm just doing some research on, uh, boy behavior, so I'll follow you around. I have to go now. Homework? Well, that was somewhat pleasant. Bye now. Somebody please help! Quick, before there's bloodshed! Why would you do that? That's not nice! <laughs> Ouch! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Ah, ah. Wow, that looks so scary! You might dislocate a shoulder or fracture a kneecap, you know? Was that supposed to happen? That was not smart. Pardon me. Excuse me. Sorry. How incredibly rude! You are clumsy. Excuse you. Hey, ouch! Oh! Ow! You mean-spirited, violent person! You are not a gentleman. Ah! You! You! Oh! Typical. I need a doctor! Ah! ah. That really, really hurt! Ah. Why is this happening to me? Uh, it's been fun, but I have to go lower my heart rate now. It's time for me to play doctor with my dolls in a climate-controlled room. So, see ya. My eyes are getting tired. I need to take my glasses off, so I need to be alone. Excuse me. That was exhilarating! That was so dangerous! Yet, yeah. <laughs> come and help me, please! Come quick, I need help! I'm gonna make sure you'll have massive internal bleeding! You think I can't beat you senseless because I wear glasses? Think again! Don't leave me here! <laughs> what about me? Must lower heart rate. Must lower heart rate. <laughs> Li is lithium, Na is sodium, K is potassium, Rb is rubidium, Cs is cesium, Fr is francium. These are alkali metals. Cut sleep to 4.5 hours a night. Increase study time to 35 hours per week. Eat lunch while walking. That's 30 minutes per meal. He is helium, Ne is neon, Ar is argon, K is krypton, Xe is xenon, Rn is radon. These are noble gases. I'll be a cardiovascular surgeon or a neurologist. I do not want to be a dermatologist. No way. Yes, I was a student at Bullworth before becoming a renowned brain surgeon that I am today. If I can't be a physician, I guess I could be a lawyer, but that would be totally embarrassing. Sometimes I just want to tear my hair out, scoop my brains with an ice cream scoop, and throw it at a passerby. When I get upset, I just scratch myself until I bleed. <laughs> I'm not an angry person. I don't know what this means. What an achievement. You must be proud. Speaking of which, unrelated to that, my guess is most of the greasers' reading level is around third grade. If you're smart, you know that nice clothes won't get you into a good college. The preps are ultimately losers. Christy was saying that no girl from Bullworth has ever gone to med school. That scares me. Studying is more important than dating in life. I heard Miss Peabody never dated in high school. I'm not going to make the mistake Mrs. McRae made. She wanted to be a doctor, but became a, a nurse because she dated. I think jocks are like different species. They have smaller brains and bigger muscles. We all serve a different purpose. I hear that new kid Jimmy is not very smart. One less competition is good for me. All the preps are so excited about the carnival coming to town. I should stay home and study so I can get ahead. I heard the doctors at the asylum said Mr. Galloway will make a full recovery. Doctors are never wrong. I heard Mandy has decided to give up on college altogether and focus on finding a husband. Smart strategy. I thought Jimmy was not that smart, but he seems like he might be. Maybe he's one of those hidden geniuses. Townies don't like high-pitched voices. 
The coyotes don't either. Townies seem to try to go out with quieter girls because they're easier. How is it possible? I don't want to hear it. That's precisely what I heard. I don't believe it. I hate being young. I wish I could become a 40-year-old cardiovascular surgeon when I wake up tomorrow. I don't know why I cry when I think about med school. <laughs> I know I'll get in. My fear is that I'll end up working at a bookstore when I'm 30 because all I have is a master's degree from some liberal arts college. If I'm truly smart, I wouldn't be at Bullworth now. Well, can I ask whose fault that is? I'm sure things would be different if your grades were better. I'm sorry, but I have to go study now. It's so sad. That's why I'm going to med school. Any society that encourages tolerance and compassion over straight A's will have more people with diseases than doctors who can treat them. I wish music and art classes weren't mandatory. Do you care if your doctor was tone deaf or can't draw? It's not fair that only the pretty girls receive special treatment. Why don't they ever give out free ice cream to the girl who can recite the periodic table? If the nerds rule the world, we would have less people with AIDS. Goodbye. Farewell. See you in the future. I already know the medical schools to which I'll apply. I'm not going to cry ever once I get into med school because doctors don't cry. I'm focused on studying to be a physician to help people. I hardly ever notice people around me or their problems. I like helping people who have less brains than I. I've always been pleased I have somewhat of a waist. I can't wear glasses and be fat. That is admirable. Oh, I wish I could do that. That is so commendable. Have you ever put on the white coat and pretended to give a lecture as a neurologist in front of a mirror? Do you ever imagine what it would feel like to open up someone's heart for a bypass operation? Have you ever stayed up studying all night the day after the big exam just for fun? Do you ever read your anatomy and physiology textbook while riding your bike? Have you ever examined yourself? Yes, of course. Absolutely not. No. And that is a stupid question. Yes, without a doubt. Ew. How disgusting. You're attacking the wrong person. I'm your friend. Don't hurt me. Are you mistaking me for someone else? You think I'm weak? Think again. I can take care of myself. See? You think you scare me? Only a little bit. I know how to break bones easily. Uh, oh. <laughs> Why is the world against me? I can't die. I have to go to med school. I'm not a happy unit. <laughs> I'm not going to stand by and watch. Some situations can only be solved by force. Ugh, how primitive of you. Ugh. I hope you will do irreversible damage to your opponent's neurological functions. Aim for the most vulnerable spots, like the underarm, the neck, and the Achilles tendon. Make it painful. I won't tell anyone. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Let us get down on the ground. There's more oxygen down there. You're a, a nice person, right? Why do I get the feeling I may be in danger? No mercy for you! Ah! Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh, oh. oh. I see a, a male human on the premises! Freaks are like one-of-a-kind custom-made cars to be observed and studied. I can't believe it! I haven't received a gift like this ever. Thank you. That's very nice. It would be nice if you showed your interest in me by presenting me with a gift of some kind. I like receiving presents. It would make me feel less insecure. There you go. Oh, hello. Hi. Greetings. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice outfit. Hello. Nice to see you. There you are. Hi. Did you change your hair? You look smarter. I like your hat. It covers your head nicely. Your trousers are kind of flattering. Your shoes complement your feet. That shirt looks nice on you. One day you are going to be beautiful. Medical technologies are advancing rapidly. I want to be a doctor so I can help sick people get better and ugly people happier. Listen carefully, as this may confuse some of you with lower IQs. I may need your assistance here. That was not called for. Why? 
<laughs> Excuse me? Oh, I... Uh, hello? Do I have to resuscitate you? What were you put on the planet to do, exactly? You're a genius! <laughs> That was exactly as I'd expected. Thank you for being my partner for this, uh, project. I hope it gets easier. I've been thinking about human sexuality and would like to learn more someday. I think it takes practice to become a good kisser, just like one has to study hard to get good grades. I would enjoy watching him experience pain, I think. I... I... feel... sick! <coughs> no! No rats, please! <laughs> what? Who are you? Oh, uh, hi. Yeah, sure. Hello. Hello, you. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. Hello, whoever you are. Okay, whatever. Yeah, right. Excuse me, I have to... Sure. Okay. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> This is unusual. What might you be up to? Magnificent. I am impressed. How is one supposed to be amused by this? This is a waste of time. No, no, stop it. It's my life. Ah! This can't be happening. This is how scientific achievements can be used recklessly toward the advancement of weapons. What a crude yet efficient weapon. Stink bomb must be one of the most underestimated weapons. Ugh. I wish I could wear a white coat every day. I'd wear nothing else. Oh, I can't wait. Everything looks nerdy, gullible, and immature to me. Nothing that would suit me. I'm going for the intelligent, sophisticated, can be adventurous, but keeping it Republican type of look. What are you doing, young man? Vandalism is a serious crime. When I witness an act of injustice taking place, I feel it is my duty to report it to the authorities without seeking rewards or acknowledgement. I ask you to punish bad people who do bad things. Shall I tell you who they are? Did you leave your head in the toilet again? Can you spell dumb? If you want to scare me, learn how to multiply double digits. Look this way, please, special people. Loser! Shouldn't you be at home sucking your thumb? People who are lost, raise your hand. Don't think I don't resort to violence once in a while. I can be a healer or a torturer. Everybody is going to hate you no matter what you do, so don't worry. I see you're dressed for failure as usual. Is it a medical condition or do you just have weird hair? With pants like those, you're better off just wearing a skirt. Even a nerd would not be caught dead with those shoes. Is that your please beat me shirt? Are you trying to make up for the lack of masculinity and brains by getting a tattoo? Because it's really working. Have no fear. It's been medically proven that eggs are good for cultivating self-esteem. Just think, at least you don't have to wonder if you're a loser or not anymore. I'd like what you were wearing if you weren't in it. <laughs> it's not fair! It's just not fair! <laughs> what? Right. Sure, sure. Whatever you say. And I like your style, too. You're really pretty smart for a stupid guy. Wouldn't it be great if you could spell the words you just used? At least I'm not you. I'm hurt that you think that of me. Your opinion means nothing to me. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately, or is it too scary? Please don't hurt my feelings when I have a big test coming up. I'm going to cry if you don't stop being mean to me. Why do you treat me this way? This way, please. Over here. Trust me. Come. Much obliged. I should get my head sanitized before I become ill. 
This is inhumane! Use an animal to do this! My glasses! Can I take my glasses off, please? Is that a cancerous growth or a headwear of some kind? I thank you. Why me? <laughs> I don't like it when you do that! <laughs> you do not want to go that way. I wouldn't go that way if I were you. I want to get out of here. I don't belong here. I want to be in a clean hospital wearing a white coat. How intriguing. What is that? Excuse me?